Hi, my name is Dan. Welcome to my channel. This is an acoustic guitar tutorial for the song Made to Worship by Chris Tomlin. The song is originally in the key of C. I'm going to show you how to play it using G shapes. If you want to match the recording, you'll capo 5. For today, I'm just going to capo 3. And so when I play a G, it's going to come out in the key of B flat. But like I say, if you want to match the recording, just capo up 5. And then when you play a G, it'll come out as a C. For the intro of the song, if you want to, you can just stay on a G5 chord while the electric guitar plays the riff. If you want to play the electric guitar riff, it's something like this. I think there's a slide there instead of a pull-off, but for the acoustic, it sounds good to do a pull-off. You can play that on the D and the G strings as well. And you can play all of that while you have a G chord formed. So let me walk you through the notes there. You're playing the D string open, then you're playing uh, the second fret, and I kind of pull off a little bit. Then you're playing open on the G. Then you're playing 4 2 0 on the G. Then back to the D string and do that second fret pull off. Or you can just do three notes. The second time through, it's 5 4 2 on the D string. And then 4 2 again, which I usually do a pull off open and you can do a pull off if you want. So you can do all that while you have a G chord formed. So let's do the first part. So I'm playing G and then adding my first finger to the second fret of the D. with it off so that's that then you have to play four two zero and I'm gonna do it with my pinky and my first finger because they're being used for the G chord the other fingers are so I can't use them and then I go back to the D string on the second fret So put the two together, it would sound like this. And then the second time through, it goes like this. And I'm gonna do five, four, two. And then pull off from four to two if you can. So the second part is like this. So put the whole thing together, it sounds like this. So that's a cool intro for the song, which mimics the electric guitar riff. But like I said, you could just play uh, just a G chord and get away with it that way. For the verse of the song, let's first talk about the strum pattern. The most basic strum pattern I can think for this one that would really work, I think, well, is the following. I've got a down on one, a down on two, and up on the uh before three. So it's one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four and a. And the, the last
last and uh on four is optional. There's also an option of doing a second beat on beat one, so you could make it look like this for that first beat. For the verse of the song, it's going to be a G before the day, and then G over F sharp before the light. So I play my G5 this way with the A string muted. When I go to play a G over F sharp, just take your first finger and put it on the second fret and pick up your second finger. You still have the A string muted. And then E minor, before the world revolved around the sun, that's a C. I have my thumb muting the thick E string. And then real briefly, if you want to, you can hit a D chord. And then go back to a G. God on high, stepped down into time. That's G over F sharp. And wrote the story of his love. That's E minor. For everyone. C. And then D. Or D suspended. And then you go into the pre-chorus. So let me play the song with the strumming, or just play the verse with the strumming. Before the day, before the light, before the world revolved around the sun. God on high, stepped down into time, and wrote the story of his love for everyone. And then you're going to go into the pre-chorus of the song. For the pre-chorus of the song, it's C. And he has filled our hearts, that's D, with wonder. C. So that we always, that's D, remember. That's a C. So here's the pre-chorus. He has filled our hearts with wonder. So that we always, For the chorus of the song, it's a G. You and I were made to worship. And then a C. You and I are called to love. A minor. You and I are forgiven and free. D. Back to G. You and I embrace surrender. And then C. You and I choose to believe. And then A minor. You and I will see. D. And you go back to the intro. So let me play the chorus and then go back into the intro. You and I were made to worship. You and I are called to love. You and I are forgiven and free. You and I embrace surrender. You and I choose to believe. You and I will see. We were meant to be. For the bridge of the song, it's going to be A minor. And even the rocks cry out. G over B. On the G over B, I'm muting the E string, the thick E string with my thumb. And I'm muting the D string with my index finger. And even the heavens shout. That's a C. And the D string is muted. And the E, thick E string. Of his holy name. That's the D, or I play a D suspended. A minor. So let every voice sing out. G over B. And let every knee bow down. That's a C. He is worthy of all our praise. That's a, G, a D. So here is the bridge. And even the rocks cry out. And even the heavens shout. At the sound of his own. Back into the chorus, a light chorus. 
So that's the song Made to Worship by Chris Tomlin. I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you and that you got something out of it. I encourage you to try that intro riff. It's really kind of fun. If you did like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And if you want to stay up to date on my channel, go ahead and subscribe and have a great day.